Today is Heva Iyar Tashin Samik Tess. We're in Hemshik Samik Tess of the Rebbe Rishav on Ahmed Chof Zion. It's only able to be shorter in the Kli. <coughs> However, that is entrance is sufficiently in our even of his slabshas that uh, the Kli is metayer es ha etem ha'oya. And we saw that that was, uh, we bought Eze Dugmois there, and we saw that that was a Ainian not begolui to the Makablim, PMS. Uh, because the Pneumis Akli is not shy to Inan Ashpur. We saw that Inan Ashpur was only Mitzad the Chitinius of the Kailim, and that's another Inan altogether, Shema Piula. The Ila, the Pneumis of the Kli, is only the Inan from Kabbalah, as we described that whole Inan in yesterday's class. However, the Pneumis of the Kli being Mataya Deir is not really shy to Ashpur. So therefore we saw it, it only becomes revealed uh, through a inyan which is not uh, a dova al pi seida ha but it's more like a zgula. How would you call it? More like a, um, a inyan which is not the lafi and that's the inyan of chokmas uh, odom, chokmas odom, tohir pano. We saw that the ponim, albeit not a keili to inyanim, ruchni and mamish, but nonetheless <coughs> it's um uh, a, a delicacy and a edel kite and a ilui as you might call it, a very high elevation in the Indian of the Chokma of that person which is nika and recognizable uh, the Gemara says Hakaras uh, Ponov Onsabe but that's not shy to the Inyonim of Ashpur to any macabre uh, even within Elamat as we'll see, any gilui mi chutz le etem aspiro or chutz mi etem a odom, or that's already shy to in yom chitrinim yesa, which are called shem a puulo or shem a kinui. So we saw the whole inyan how it is in olam a chilas, and we saw that the kelim, uh, just like they are lamata, they're connected with the inyan of shemais. So the same way, in Lamaila uh, in Olam Ha'atzilas, then the different Giluya uh, Hashemus, uh, like Shem Keil and Shem Elokim, are Shayev Be'ika to the to the Keilim, because the Keilim are the Koyach HaGvola, the Koyach HaGvu Shabayin Tzayv, the ability of the Eivishter to give forth a specific union, the Yehudi Oedas, the other union of the Giluya in Tzayv and the Giluya Apshitas, of the Eiras uh, uh, from uh, uh, the Moke Ha'atzmi, uh, which is the Pneumis of the Kav, Hulu. Amamira, the uh, relationship of the Eir with the Kli is that the Kli is Kilo Magbil the Eir, but even Musuyam, and makes it be Meir in that form of Shem Elokimo, Shem uh, Keo. <coughs> However, the Eir, the Gabi, that is really a union from Pshita, but we'll soon see a little bit more about that as we go along. And we saw that that uh, name, Shem Keo, is Moira al Etzema And that means, Vahainu Tiv Vachanosa 
שהיא כלי מוכנה לקבל לסוער עצי פרחו, בבחינת ומדרגס חוכמה וחסד. אינדו חוכמה אין חסד, או שם קרס חסד, שם אלוקים בגבורה, אין אהי השם, which is called the שם אב, well that's one of the צירופים, the שם אבי, that's how to חוכמה, this is one. אז הוא השתית עם דופסיק, דר הוואי בחוכמה, דהנה שם הוואי אפשר את החוכמה. והנה טיב החנוסה, מה זה אומר למעלה? The well established preparation, or the good preparation on the part of that כלי to be מקבל אוירן צייף. By the autumn למטה, we saw that was the הגיע, what he is משגע, what is כלי. And he struggles and he works hard with his kli. Ava lamayla, what is it? So we saw, Hainu shihi p'chinas ela kus mamish, vihi kli la erein tseif. Vagam b'chinas hedar amatiya. And we saw that was the inen of bitl, ve'eza oifen shihi, b'chinas klei ha-moichin ve'klei ha-midas. What is kelim to the inen ha-moichin or the inen kelei ha-midas? Shilafi oifen kozeh hu kli la erein tseif barok. So here we saw that uh, Lamaila in Axilus, by that concept of, of uh, Kli being well established and well prepared to be Makabal de Oya, or that's in the Indian Atmi in the Kalim, how they are in Oilam Axilus, what they are Elokus. In other words, not only the Oilus are Elokus, but the Kalim are also Elokus. That's what we say in the famous uh, uh, statement of the Tikkuni Zaya, Iyu Vachayeu Chad. ויהיו וגם אוי היא חד, דה אביס איז וואן ודה אוי רייס, ואני איז אוסו וואן ודה גר מוי היא, ודה קיילים. ג'אסט את דה ייחוד דה קיילים איז דיפרנט דה ייחוד דה אוי רייס, ואז וואי וואי סייד אין טו דיפרנט סטייטמנט. אבל דה קיילים איז אוסו אינן אלוקוס. וסינס דה אלוקוס בעצם, איפה דה אייבל דה מקבל בתוך דה אינן אוי רייס. It's only that uh, since the Avishter wants it that way, not that it has to be that way, but since the Avishter wants it, that the Koya Chagvu should be more misgaber, uh, as it were, in Oila Matzilas than the Koya Chabli Gvu. Therefore, he gives the Kli the ability and the Koya uh, to uh, be Magbil the Oyer, and that the Oyer is Meir through this Kli in a particular way. And so we saw that that's totally in the etzim makeup uh, al pi elakus and al pi rotzen Hashem of the keli, whether it's a inim from yisod ham ha'im or whether it's a inim from yisod ho ho eish. And like the author brings in Tanya in chapter 28, that he says that the av yisodays are connected to the av oishes of the Shem ha avai, and the Shem avai is the ike ha'or in elak in olam ha'tzilus kiedua. And therefore, the shoyrish of all of them, uh, Yisraelites, is an Olam HaTzila. And therefore, you have the Indian from Mayim being connected with Chesed, and uh, or Chokmah, as is one on it, Mayim has also got a shaykh to, to Chokmah, and the Indian from Eish has got a shaykh to the uh, Indian Miyuka to the Indian of uh, Gevura. <coughs> or, in Ayam Adrega, the Indian of Bina, because uh, the Indian from Bina indicates the heat and the and uh, what you might call the friction and, uh, and the interaction of the details expressing themselves by way of uh, Shiloh and Anta and the whole, you know what, that's the whole inter-discussion that goes on in a mensch inside the Inim from Bina. The Iru Chachma is just the Inim from Gilo in Umayla Lamata. And then what's more like the Inim from Mayim, she heard him mimokim, kawel lamokim normal, it just comes down, but there Gilo, you know, even of what we call Messinus, but that's the union of water. The Ilu Bina is the union of uh, intense activity which is connected with fire and with age. So therefore he said that the Kalim right at the very beginning, either the Kliya Chochma or the Kliya Bina, they indicate uh, the uh, it's a makeup of the Kalim how they are mitzad the Arab Yisoides. Either they are Indian from Mayim, and come on, we don't mean Mayim Gashmim, we mean Mayim Haraya in the Ruchnis Tike Shoyrash, in the Abba Isis, the Rishem Avaya, but nonetheless we can uh, use them as an, a marshal to understand the difference of the Oifen Agilui, how it is in Chokmah or how it is in 
Bina, or whether it be in the Inif Midas, uh, and uh, Midas is already the Inif and Chesed do Gevura, but they're also shy to uh, different levels in Mayim and H. Well, if you even Mahusam Hari Yubachin, Hari Haim, I'm sorry, Bain Klei HaChochma, or Klei HaBina, or Bain HaMoychin Le, Midas, Shebezeh Mishchalik Mahusam or Madrigosam. But that's the way we differentiate between one keli to the to the other, because since we're talking about inyonim and elakus and inyonim halayala milo, we can't just picture a kli and say this kli is different to another. Or well, these keli are ain't safe; they have in themselves you know, a divine uh, qualities which are completely beyond our picture and our understanding. So, what is it that causes the basic uh, is halkes between the different keli? Well, that's this. Uh, uh, divine into uh, division between the oifanim of Mayim and Eish for Kaita Bezeharaya Lamaila. In other words, Eish being the Inif and Tekev and the Inif and uh, Aliyah or the Inif of interreaction, as it were, of details, and Mayim being more, Ayin, as we said, of uh, uh, graduality or clarity in a more um, uh, Nakuda type fashion. And so on. So therefore, he said, "If a gam shema, if a lafia, if a mahusam, I reign between the kelim loyer and say parahu, the zohuin and shema toya, shemataye mahusa kli." In other words, now we get back to the basic purus that we said in uh, shema toya that it was mataye the mahus of the kelim. So here, the matter, it's mataye the mahus of the kelim after the autumn has. But what is clear, after he's been Monsieur Gaya and Mishtadl, what is clear to make it into a certain Oifan? So then we get uh, that clear Lafi Oifan Shaloi. Lamaila, the union of the Kalim, which is uh, the Shematoya, describing that Pneumistika Oifan of the Kli, is not because anything has to work on itself in Oilamatsilas, no, that's the Etzim Mahus. Pneumius, whether it's H or Mayim, what is the, as it were, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Yisod Ruchni or the Yisod Eroki, which is uh, particular to that, uh, cli- to that Kli. And that's the Inin, uh, the Shematoya, which is Matayer, or that Mahus. Vigam, and how we saw a new Pirush here in this section, a new Pirush in Shematoya, Vigam Shematarim Esa Oya. Yeah, that they also have this ability to picture and describe the Oya Shalomayla Mi'akelim. In other words, the Oya Ha'atzmi, well, that's already Shema Etem, and they give some picture of the delicacy and the ilui, or the elevation of that Oya. Avo, he says, Avo, loy lifol, Avo, they're not shy to the union of, of lifol. Yeah, what lifol means, as we saw, Shema Pa'ula, and that's already the union of Dova Michutzla Etem, yeah, therefore, the Shematoya and the Etzim Mahusa, the Kli in Yoni is only the Kabel. And therefore, in Yoni is to unite so much with the Ur and to become so bottle, like we saw, Head of Hamachia, be so bottle, even though it's in the Stabia Machia, it's so bottle by Machia that it's able to describe and light up and show us what sort of Ur that really is. But that indicates a beetle on the part of the Kli and a Yichud with the Oya. So that's the union of Shema Toya in the two Pirushim out of Islamayla in, in Elokos. And then he says in brackets, Behine Shem HaOdom, meaning the Shema Etzim of the Odom, what he's called by his name, whether it be Avraham or Mokhoyal or whatever may happen to be his name. Yeah, ain't no Shema Toya. It's not the union of a Shema Toya who doesn't describe any Kali. Avo ainu lifoel dova ukanal, but it's also not to be poil anything. Because like we saw, you don't really need the shame to be poil, nor the shame is nugea to your etzim chayes, because it's the oasis of the, to which the highest of the odom is nimshel, but teikufri, as he explained earlier um, in this maimah. However, we can't say that the shem of a mensh has got anything to do with a shema paula, and it's also not shema Toya, and therefore we call it Shem Ha'etem, yeah, meaning that it's somehow similar 
uh, to that Indian that we saw here, Shema Etzim, which is a oil, a mile of slabs in the Kalim. So by our Odom, we have to say that that's a very uh, delicate Indian, yeah, which is Shaykh, <coughs> as he brings in the Kut to the Gila the highest, and not only to the Gila the highest, but also to yeah, be Megala the Etzim. And that's what we see another aspect in the Shem of Amenj, that when he's called, even if he's in a state of uh, fainting, or he's not in a clear state, and he's in a state of Nafila or Ka'itzim, if you call his name, then you have the ability to uh, touch the Etzim. Mama, you reach into the highest how it is in the, in the Etzim. So that's another Indian in the Shem Ha'odam, which is in the interior of the Ursula Mailami. Yeah, his lapses, but that's fitting with what we saw here in the union of the Koichis, the Shema Etzem of Chokma, yeah, of Chul. So therefore, that's a summing up more or less of the different targets that we've seen here in the Shema, is how they relate to the Kegli. He said, the Zohu union, with this will be, I will understand another union which is brought down in many my modim. He said, the Zohu union, Shakelim heim gavnei ho'er. So this now fits in with the well-known principle that the, the kalim, or they are like the colors of the light. The kalim cause in the light a color. Yeah? Now a color is already something like a specific relationship to some Indian. Like we saw that uh, white is chesed and red is gavuda and green or whatever you like to call it. We're going to see in a minute. Uh, that's got a shot with two Okay, similar such in Yonim. Uh, we saw that <coughs> by those in Yonim of the Gavanim uh, are Shayat Mitad the Kalim. Because the oil being as it is, yeah, Poshut, yeah, compared, particularly how it is in Lamalami, it stops us in the Kalim, it's uh, an even from Peshitas, and therefore it can't really be described as having in itself the union of Gavanim Biemas. And so therefore we bought the Moshul yesterday from the Pardes. You know, the famous Moshe brought in the Sefer Paradise, where he says it's like putting water, posha to water, into a clear colored, but then you get uh, a, a, a shpua on the part of the keli into the uh, appearance of the water, but it's only an appearance, it's not mamish be'etz and mahus of the water, because the etz and mahus of the water remains posha. And the Yemen says, and it's brought down in my mind from the Mitla Rabbi, other places in Kusaras, there's another Moshev over there in the Seif. You look it up in the Seif Apalas, he brings two Mishalim. And he brings another Moshev that uh, if you have light and you put that in the light, you know, just the way it is, doesn't really, can't be really described as having any color, just pure light, Kamoshev. But if you shine it into a, uh, what do they call it, a, um, uh, a lamp, you know, a thing that, uh, a colored uh, thing, if you put that light, Inside a, what are they, one of the... Prism? Huh? A prism? Prism? A prism, a glass. Yeah, yeah. yeah or a prism breaks it up into all sorts of different colors. I'm talking about if you have like a, you know, a thing yeah. like a lamp, and you shine the color into that, then the oil on the other side takes on somewhat of that color. In other words, uh, depending on what you put the oil into, yeah, you put the oil into a certain medium, of color, then on the other side, the air looks like looks to be that uh, color. Uh, and he also brings over the decision of the light breaking into colors, but that's already maybe an even higher in a slightly higher in. Uh, he does bring such a marshal from the Indian of oil, and it's brought down in the middle of every says in a place that that's two different like levels. That the uh, that the marshal of the water, or that's like the uh, the kalim of Atilas and the earth, the kalim how they are in Atilas, or the marshal of the light. Itself and the, uh, but the causing of the color in the light, mamish, or that's already in the atmosphere of Saganusis, how they are even Lomailami Atilas, Bukhulu, and uh, the Pardis is uh, Malik in that, uh, in that Indian. However, suffice it to say that we see that the Kalim have a Gavon, but the Ua doesn't really. So the truth of the matter is that in those my monuments written, that you can't really say that the Ua doesn't have any Gavon Bukhlau. Because if it didn't, if it was just absolute pshitos, then, I mean, something which is absolute pshitos, you can't just make it look something by, you know, making it shine into a certain receptacle. Something 
which is Mami's Peshitas is always going to remain beyond any form of specific kilo, as we've spoken on other occasions about the Emerson concept of Peshitas. So therefore, we can't really say that the Uya, how it is Mami's Peshitas, yeah, the Urshul of Maila and Gamre, we call Giluim, yeah, how it is, Tadlifnea Timtum, of a similar, it's hard to say that if that were to be put into a clean, that that would take on the color of the clean. So then we have to say that if we're talking about oilers, which ain't the chanami de la maila mi et mi slavshis in kalim, but we have to say the very fact that that particular oil is maya in that particular kali and another even of the oil is maya in another kali, then we have to say that there's a certain trace in the oil that it's able to be makabal, albeit not be etzim mahuse, of al chaponim, but again to gilu, it's able to be makabal that light. Uh, or that color, uh, that oif and hagila, as it comes from that particular kali. And if I we have to say that we're already talking about how the oiras have come down from a certain level in their, in their form of absolute pshitas, and they're already having themselves, and that's the famous doctrine of the Rizal, which brought down in certain places, but the Rizal says that even the oiras have in themselves as a sphere. This is not the kali, nor the, uh, the oiras. As well in the famous Shemshe Chafayim Beis, the whole Vigarich is at the first part of the 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 Hemshe with the guns in him, but there that uh, the Oyers do have in themselves, according to that Shita, and there's others who say not that the Oyers are shooting but tachlis. So the Alter Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe said that really both things are true, that the Oyers are shooting. But again, to the to the kelim, they shoot him. They've already got a certain trace in them that makes them able to be macabre. The certain govern what the kli puts into them. In the chanami, yeah, the ma'elam is there like amid, and the others are taught to subshit the smamis. The key to it's a whole big arifus. And again, to that Indian yeah, in Sirat. All right. So, uh, however, the ikah gavonim is mitzad the kelim. Therefore, he said the kelim are called the gavne ho'er, could they be the word they put the gavon into the earth, even though not completely and absolutely. As Ubkin's chesed, I'm sorry, the gavon lawn, that the color of white, Ubkin's chesed. White being an infant simplicity, yeah, that's more connected with something that just goes and flows the whole time, but that's the union of uh, chesed. The gavon adoim, red is the union of uh, gavuda, the gavon yorok is the union of tiferet. <laughs> so, um, how do you translate the word yorok? Green. Huh? Green. Green. green so, green. how do you get green from red and white? Pink. Yeah. Pink. Pink. Oh, pink's not green. As far as I, don't, I don't remember pink being green. Yeah. What does it do? So the Tai Chi is that yes, Lima, that the M is the Tai Chi rock in in Russian Kurdish doesn't mean green. No, the M is a tra- the word M is a word Yarok means something like uh, orangey golden type color. That is the word Yarok. Now, where do I know that from? Uh, because there's a famous thesis in Masekta Sukkot, well, that's the Masekta that you're learning now, or well, not in the Perik that you're learning, in Perik uh, um, Lula Gozl, but over there that, that talks about the color of the Esrik, and uh, uh, that, 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 that says over there that the Esrik, which is purely Yorick, is, is not kosher, so Tasis goes in and says, we, 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 tight. And then he gets to the conclusion, Tasis, that the word Yorick really means yellow or gold or orange. And he says, what does the Gemara say? That something which is purely Yorick is not good. It means if it's too reddish, orangey gold, then it's also not good. <laughs> it's got to be like a slight trace of gold and yellow. So he's not to, not to Jesus. And he reaches the conclusion that Yorick really means a form of what he calls Tahor. It's a form of yellow, but a bit brighter and deeper than yellow. And then he says, on the contrary, a history that's like that, that is Yorok, or not too much Yorok, he said, that is a very kosher. And he said, that's the best history that you're going for. 
What the world calls your rock, meaning green, is, uh, you know, stumps are, uh, you know, a wealthy shabshat, of it's not really the Emma's deal. I mean, they stay close. The Rebbe says that the combination of chesed and gvura, yeah, which is red and white, is your rock. And it can't possibly be green. I mean, you can't get green from red and, and white. And therefore, your rock really means a golden sort of orangey type color, but light, not deeply heavy, but that is your rock. As they come to it, a very, very amazing uh, uh, Indian, of a cane who was a mavua in Kamadrushim. And once again, the middle of the river has got all beer in the, in the safer, in the Agdoma, not even, even before he gets to the actual safer, in the Agdoma, in the um, uh, Imrabina, the famous, <laughs> the famous uh, safer in the middle of the river, his mouth with that Indian that the, uh, the colors of Chesed of Gvura is Yorick, and he says, Masha, how Elam called a gel. What gel means, uh, in Yiddish, means like a, a bright yellow. Yeah. As for funny, um, it's an interesting Indian to be misbehaving. And somebody, when I was in England, uh, in the winter time, somebody called me up and they said, uh, you know, they're very interested in colors and they want to write something about colors. I'd like to write about colors and what do I have to say about the colors and the spheres and everything. So I said, look, I, whatever I could say I would only just be a beginning and there's so much in it, uh, about it in Silas that I just haven't got the quirk to be Matsamson. <laughs> I made myself a bit like the Rizal. Then I said, I haven't got the quirk to, to, to be Matsamson because it's written so many different things in Silas about the colors. It's really unbelievable. All over the place you get these amazing references to white and red and green and everything. And you got to be very, uh, you're off, not green. you got to be very careful to touch them. And they, and they do mention other colors also. But you get an etach for huid with it. It's all over. It, and it comes from different angles. And, uh, it's a very complex topic. The whole. So I said to this person that I've come for a, a rest. And I just haven't got the power to be Matamsim and to be Malak at all the places. But nowadays everything's on computers and so I'm sure if she looks up on the computers or, uh, you know, in, in what do you call it, in the, uh, in the different places from Chabad and other places, Kabbalah and all those type of Inyoni, look up on the cover, you will get a lot of information. <laughs> and that's how I shocked myself out of the whole Indian. But uh, here's an interesting case and it's all over. The middle of Rebbe, the cloud, the middle of Rebbe's got a lot about it. Oof, a whole series of Vignone and about the big day kahuna, you know, the big day kahuna have different colors in them. Oh, oh. all right. Edifa, the high nose is a rebbe, the kalim de hagas, that's in the kalim of chesed and gvura and te, teferet. He says, ki ha oir hu poshut adayin. You have a aim by its seal of a gavon miuchat, that the earth is poshut adayin, still poshut. And so it's tight in other places and it's only still posh. It's not posh beater. It's already got a certain child, but it's not Gavon Burmiu Had. It's not an open Indian from Kalbu. It's already got a certain, uh, uh, how do you call it, abstract aspect of color in it, which for each one finds its own, uh, its own uh, clue. The Gavonim, Ahim Be Hakailim, Shahim Be Kinos Kesaduga, Uda. Umiko Mokim, and yet, <coughs> nonetheless, even though the Gavon is Mitadikalim, a Gavon Muira Alha Etem. Nonetheless, that particular Gavon is Muira on the Etem of the oil which was made into it. Shah Uir Vakali Yeshlehem Shaikhuzela Ze Okamish Kosa Bamoki Macha. And here's exactly what I just said. Here we go back the other way. Mikol Mokim, yeah, Hagavon Moira Ava Etam. That that Gavon got some indication of the Etam. We can't say that the earth is just absolute cheaters. It must have a certain trait. And therefore that light, that Etam was made into that, into that clear. And remember, that clearly indicates the, literally, the Madrega of Lamailamia Slapsis, which is coming towards it, and Shoyra Batoich, as we saw, is indicative that there is a certain Indian, even in the, even in what we call the Atom. This is all referring to Das Tachton, right? Referring to, this is all talking about from the Makadam's point of view, from Hashem's point of view. It's, it's Hashem? 
Hashem's point of view is there's not even any colors or any... Hashem? Dust. This is all dust. Tachton? Oh, no. This is dust. Sorry. We're talking about Tilos. Tilos is dust. Sorry. With the colors? Oh, oh. Dust. Tachton is a very shemash poor, shemash... A pu'ula, she ma kinui, these are not, das takhten is already in toilem as biyah. Here we're talking to highest madrigas of the kelim and the oiris of the air in Atzilat. Atzilat is das helim, as we said earlier in the Bible, at the end of the previous month we said Atzilat is das helim. Excuse me, my ego. I know why I don't blame you, it is a little bit complicated but, uh, you know what can we do that's we gotta just keep gotta just keep hammering her hammering away so he's a mccall mock him a gavon moira ala etem nesha oil of a keili yeslim shaykhus ella and he said the reason is because the oil and the keili ever certain shaykhus one to the other despite the fact they're really opposites. And yet, nonetheless, they do have a certain shaykhus, one to the idea. And like we just pointed out that the oir wouldn't be mayor into that keli if it didn't have a certain yeah, shaykhus to him. And therefore, the keli is able to be megala and matthias, something about that yeah, particular oir, and tell you that that's a, that's a oir which be et shal chesed. I, exactly the madrigu, or even of chesed, how it is, it is hard for us to know. Of all components, the Kaylee can tell us that that's chesed because the Kaylee and the etim, the hain of the etim or oil, which are made into that Kaylee, have a certain shaykhus, one, two, the, uh, two, the, uh, the idea. And I we just pointed out that that oil ultimately must have in itself a certain very, very delicate ischalkis that it dafki got nimshik into that Kaylee and the other oil got nimshik into the, to the other Kaylee, which means it's only a relative shidas, as I just pointed that I just pointed out. And if uh, the oil and the keli have a certain shaykh, in a, in a very elevated way, they do have a, a kesha. And we could say, even uh-huh. in another shot, that the oil and the keli have a shaykh, as well as there, that's well known in the Hemshech Eta, the Rebbe Eldez, Mavaya, Bariches, that uh, the Holy Sabbath of the Kalim, even though the Kalim come about from a very high shortage, which is called the Rashimo, that's the Indian Naila Beyazim, it's at the Timtum, uh, etc. However, the actual gilly of the kalim and their coming into being and their hisavas is also through the oil. That the oil is also called Mahava de Kaili. That's a famous lotion. Means abus ha oil from the thickening of the oil comes about there. The kalim was a whole uh, famous concept as mentioned in Naim uh, uh, and also brought down another him uh, from the Rebbe and he brings it up then at the also. What the that's a big view of if Nayatme of however, for now we see that the Uyr also has a certain part in the actual coming about of the Kli. Which means that you only get a Kli according to your your uh, your Uyr as it were. Which means that the, uh, already when you talking about oil is relating to Kalim, you're already talking about such oil that they must have some readiness and kudo to that Kli, not to another one. Because what are they doing being Mahava that Kli if they didn't have any particular Shaykhis to that Gavo or to that Indian? And if, uh, that's what the Rebbe is hinting to us here, that it's not just a simple tie to the oil is poshut. However, like uh, the Kalim, the oil is is uh, uh, poshut. However, with all that, we understand why it is that the gavon is able to be moira ala etim, because the er and the keli have a shaykhus one to the, uh, and both in the etim minion of the yachas of the er with the keli, and both in the other inion of the er anyway has a certain part, as you might call it, in the whole coming about of the keli. And therefore, they have a certain kesher and shaykhus one to the, one to the other. Okay. He gives an example. Mario Gavon Hatapuach. For example, the, just the way you look at an a apple, yeah, and the Mare, the type of apple, the way it looks, and the color of the apple, they are Moire ala etim. They indicate to you what type of apple it, yeah, it is. Imhu betam masikas oicha. In other words, if, you t- if you're a maven of apples, 
Yeah, if you take a look at, at an apple, you say, oh, I don't go for that type of apple, you know, that's a, that's a sour apple, it's maybe good for cooking or something, it's not for me. And so another person says, ooh, no, I don't, I don't really like it sour, and you know, so he goes for that apple. And somebody else goes for a red apple, red apples are usually sweet, I think, I don't know, yeah. and, uh, generally. Yeah. And then there's shiny ones, and ones that are not so shiny. You, know, yeah. you can have all sorts of different speakers as to whether it's sweet or sour. So the rubber says that the, the, the mari and the govern of the apple is indicatory of what the, the mahus underneath the govern is really, is really like. So we see that there is a kesha yeah, between the two. As the one on the altar of interior explains that the apple lamata is really just a you read a derakom and a yishtausis from the apple. And he brings out there a very famous lesson that the apay the same bachila in Tani brings it in, in the famous Eyu Chaye Uchad. We do a shapay the same bachila. So when, when you pick a apple off the tree, you're really picking a piece of it. <laughs> in other words, that the way they begin in Atsilas, that's the way they are down here, lamata. So therefore you can tell from the clear of the apple, you can tell what the atom inside it is like. Very amazing idea. And I, 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 it could be that other kalim or other fruits are also a bit like that. You know, you can tell from the... But there's a very special reason why the apple is an example, because the apple has got to do with malchus. As the one on the apple to shaka to malchus. And we're going to see in a minute that the ikir of all the Indian of Kalim Benegea to Poil Mamis is really shaka to malchus. So, so, oi said ukamoi, another possibility, mare pneho odam shemoi al chokmosei. Like we saw the other possibility by a, a person, we saw it's very hard to know that deep inner uh, quality of his chokmah, because it's a thing which is only shaka inside the pneumis of his kale, how he's supposed to have any observation of that, and every bought the cloud that chokmah sodom, yeah, told you, pa. So here we see that the Rebbe does liken it a bit more to the concept of Kli. Over there before, he sort of somewhat withdrew from the idea. He said, I will preach a upon him Kaili. Yeah, the upon him is not a Kaili. And here he's sort of saying that we're going to weigh it in. So we see that, like we just pointed out yesterday, that everything in how it is in Rukhni is Sayalaki, or Elakis, as it is also in Yonim how they come. Uh, into Pshit, like we just know from the Tapuach, and we saw by a mensch also, when we call it the Rambam, that a Emus a Chochom, and a Emus a person who purchased Chochma, uh, he is, uh, all of his inyonim become affected by Chochma. So even on the lower levels, he's to a certain extent a Kli to his Chochma. And therefore, if you look at his face particularly, which is a very pneumistic aspect of a person, Ponyam for Russian Pneumias, and therefore you can have some idea of what is yeah, the quality and the darkest uh, other chokma, which is nimtza bepnimius, play hamoya. A kamoi kaini says, "Who bedugma b'hakelim shaheim mitarim bechinas etzem aoya." Yeah, the show. That's how this is in Achilles. Now he says, "The im he yoy shagilu yaida kelim who bechinas aoya ramislavis b'teicho." He said, even though the gilui with the kelim, you know, when we say gilui, we mean something else. Because we've been talking up to now about the pinimus akli, which is not really shy to gilui, or well, that's just a kli the kabil bilvat. That's just that the kelim is makabil bilvat. Or we said, where the, where the kelim does its normal function, but again, to activity, as you might call it, but the first step of that is it's megala, the oil, reveals the oil. He said, that's already the Indian of, yeah, uh, it's only able to be Megala, or that which is Mislavish, but, yeah, Betoichom. And my mother comes to us, that if the oil is nipped to Betoichom, then there, Megala, the oil, Mamishka, yeah, Kamoi Shahu, even, you know, even Shogiloi. So therefore he says, Mikol Mochim, Harayim, Mitayinim, Gam Bukhinus, Aetzim, Oer, Shulamayla, Mislavishas, Mamish. In other words, that what comes into them, Mislavishas. And it's already unites with them in a way that they're able to give it over. Well, that's not, that's already not uh, 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 etymoya. And that's not a description of the etymoya, that's already a gilui. As any gilui is already to a 
Makabu, so that's already like a form of an outward goingness, that's already cut off to the inner Ramapa Ula. He said, however, they do have in themselves this amazing Indian that they're just a clear Kabola Bilvan, and that Indian yeah, gives them the power to be Mataya, the Etimoya, which is really Lamailami, the Slabshas Bekalium, and we saw that it was, you know, even from Shoira, not Mamish Mislabish. So therefore the Rebbe says that that's the oil which is Lamaila Mislabish's Mamish. In other words, it's not absolutely Slabish's, it's uh, Shoira. Over there, which is May Adyadea Kli, as it were, through the Kli and outside the Kli, but that's only from the oil which is absolutely Mislabish. And therefore the Rebbe says that this Shema Toya BMS will be a, 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 a but Pinimius is not really something that we could have any ability to observe if it weren't for the fact that we have this union of Chokma Sodom Toya Pono Vichuru. In Gracious, it talked about uh, Avram and Yitzchak looking alike. Right? Yes. They, they, were, they were specifically looked a lot like each other. I think it used the word Ziv, ziv Ponim or something. That's right. Placed upon us, yeah. yeah. Placed upon us. So, so did that mean that also? This, Rashi explains that it was just for the sake of knowing that he had fathered Yitzchak and not Avimelech. Yeah. So you're you're saying did it have what you're saying is that that was Chesed and that was Gevura. So how come they were alike? Yeah, the two different Gavonim, the Mamela, the two different Kaglim, the Mamela, the Matayer are different Etzim, or the Megale are different Etzim. That's what you're asking. Very good. So the altar of Yasik exactly Sachet at Kashin Torah here. Yeah, the altar of Yasik exactly Sachet at Kashin Torah here. And there's a famous, uh, the first uh, mime in Pasha told us over there. And over there, the altar of brings the Pasik. Um, it's written in the Pasik, Eila told us Avrohom. Avrohom, who he lived at Yitzchok. So everybody said, if, if Eila told us Avrohom, yeah, he should have said Yitzchok. <laughs> This is the Yitzchok for the Aesop, or whoever. So you say, no, Ela told us Avram. Then you say, Avram, hoi lead as Yitzchok. I mean, that's like, that's like a, a, a very unnecessary doubling of your whole statement. These are the tales of Avram, and who do you mean? Yitzchok. And Rashi says, Yitzchok for the Aesop. That's what Rashi says. And then all of a sudden he says, Avram, hoi lead as Yitzchok. Who are you? You follow my answer? Yeah? So the altar of it says that Ela told us Avram is a general statement. Ain't no chanami. That's both Yitzchok and Aesop and everybody. Obviously, when they get to Yitzchok, but Yitzchok is a very special Indian. He's uh, he's the emissary. Yeres of Avram. Avram hoylid at Yitzchok. Special. He's not just an ordinary child for him, but he specially gives birth to Yitzchok. In other words, that there's a type of Ahava and a type of Dvekis in Hashem, Ali Dei Ahava, but that gives rise to a form of Gvura. And that's the Ahava, Bechom Yei Dacha, what the altar in uh, in uh, Reisus, nor in uh, in Derv Mitzvah Secha, Barich is over there, in, um, in uh, Shoresh Mitzvah Satfila, and also in Mitzvah Smila, and other places. And the river over there is Masbir, that the in and the, there's a form of Ava, which is really a, a type of Gvura. And that's Bechom Yei Dacha, that it spreads so much that it just goes outside all the Kalim and it sort of and it kind of burns everything before it. It's such a tremendous Ava. Well, that's the, uh, the Ava of Avram gives rise to the Gvura of Yitzchak. You find? There's a whole big arena over there. Oh, but Ein Nacharim is a good question. Is, uh, in other words, that the Pashtas of Ava and the Pashtas of Gvura are taken different. And therefore, the other is that the, uh, that the, the Ava and the Gvura of Yitzchak and Avram were close one to the other. They had a certain shyness and a certain kesha, and therefore placed upon a voya doma the lozer. In other words, Avram, Yitzchok, and Yanki were not really different meters. They're like all sort of nuances of the same Indian. As they come to listen to that, it's a very amazing concept. Of the whole Indian is what a focus is. That the ikis are wrong with you. Everything, everything is from a wrong. And all the other inyanim kila sort of shape themselves through the unbelievable yisod that our Roman Vina put down. Therefore, the Rambam describes our Roman Vina in such a shame. If you look in the Rambam, it's mind-boggling what he says. You know. the, the, whole, the whole foundation of the world is really our Roman Vina. Which days? Oh, sorry. 
וטרם גם מספחית עשר מוריה, שרמה אל המשרד של סממש, הוא כנ"ל בעניין יואב חוכמה סלחה, כן, we sort of, the Abish that only gives חוכמה to such people who have worked on their clay החוכמה to the point that they've become the highest possible preparation in שמא טויה of their clay החוכמה. That's a type of חכימין. And then the Abish that gives them a חוכמה, I mean they've reached the highest point that a man can reach. What's it more? Oh yes, there's a lot more, there's this etzimoya, which is Ramayal Zarif. If this is a new thing which has happened to them, it must be noticeable. So I know how many, since the clear, such a delicate clear, it indicates that some new thing has occurred, and the Chokmah is even greater than it was before, even though it's very difficult for the observer to notice that. Yeah, because if they talk to him, they're naturally going down Shema Piula. So it's a very high and delicate Indian, a Yoyev Chokmah Lecha. But that indicates that from now on, their Kli HaChokm is indicating a much higher Gili than what was before. Abu is in Koze, who rakla tayer, loyally fall. It's only to describe or to picture the Chokmah of not to be poor or anything. Because if it's already the fall to carry out anything outside the Etzim, that's already Shema Pi Ula or Shema Kinu Kaitzim. And if I, that's an amazing, like, uh, summing up of the, of the different aspects of the Shema Toya in detail and the Shema Etem and Bekitsa Yotel, the Shema Piyot. Ma she'en kim p'chin s'chitoini s'akein. Now we've been talking about, all, all up to now has been p'nimis akli. Ma'am is the pay, etem p'nimis adakeili, that's only a kli laka, laka vele sa'oya. However, said the Rebbe, if we take the chitoini as the keili, yeah, the more chitzonious out aspect of the kelim in yonam hu lifoel chutz leoetem. The whole in the chitzonious of the kli is dafki yet to be poel chutz from the etem. Vainu ashpor vagilui. The whole in of ashpor and river lation. So chutz leetem mahus akli. That's etem mahus akli is only the kabel. That's what he in him chutz me mahus akli. And in Shabbat, there, right between the Chitainis, it's only the Chitainis. So, of how the Chitainis is the fear of the Pinimis of it, was the Sikha of the Sokhus of it, only in the front here, Chitainis. If I mean, whatever you hear, yeah, from a great Chokhim, you're only sort of hearing the, yeah, what you might call the, you know, the outer aspect uh, of his Chokhim, you're only hearing the, Chitainias. So I was looking to see if there would be any disappointed complaints about that remark. Um, so if, if from Moses, <laughs> if from Moses, the, 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 from Moses and onwards, the, 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 it was given, the Kabbalah was given from person to person. So, I mean, how could it be that... that uh, <laughs> it's only the Chitainias. I mean, like, how do you have people, like, I don't know, there was, there was, um, there was generations when, when the, the it, when we learned in Rambam just a few weeks ago that, uh, that there could be later on, that there could be, there could be a Sanhedrin that was greater than the one before. How could that, how could that be? Yeah, yeah. How could that be? Yeah, very nice. Um, how is it that, um, the, we learned that when you give over, when you teach, you get a greater understanding. You're, you're yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's slightly different, isn't it? That's what we say that uh, that the Makabu is moist back into the Mashpia. Yeah. Over, you know, that's not necessarily a Hakrat that he must give out all the Phnemians. You know, maybe he from that Khatiz he can get a, a taste of the Siloy. You guys, if you were if you're in a chiddush mood, you could say, oh, "Wait a minute, you know, a chiddush here from a rebbe, you know, the rebbe gives over the union to the chiddush." He says, "He says these my morning, for example." You know, the rebbe says they don't believe what sicha is. My morning, but all it has all these chitanias just for the sake of the makabli, and all the makabli chitanias of it. What is he doing? Uh, so what are we just uh, miscaining and we just drag around with all this Chitanias and all Chitanias? <laughs> yeah, so you guys should have been complaining with it. What's going on around here? Eh? 
Chitzenius of insect. He says that he's, he said he's already complaining now. If he didn't complain before, he's <laughs> doing it now. So we have to say, so you want to say that Halavaya the Chitzenius for Rebbe, that's good enough for us. Yeah, I don't know. But we have to say that a Rebbe is different. A Rebbe is something different. Now, I haven't got the quote now to go into the whole Indian uh, for words. But I could bring you rise to that. Uh, but a, a rebbe is different. Uh, 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 a rebbe, what he is, the yeah, the novi and the, and the manhig, and in this particular case, the Mashiach, in the middle of Mashiach, Shabbatoya, then it's another Indian. He has the ability to give over the whole Pneumius, even in the, what looks to be the, the Chitanias. So therefore, yeah, what you really, if you really devote yourself to a rebbe, don't do that around me, man. I'm really going to get angry. <laughs> it's a matter. Our Rebbe is different. Our Rebbe is different. The second thing is, and this is the disappointing part of it, well, I don't know if it's the disappointing part of it, but we see in the Gemara, it's written, Achreya, Boyin, Shnin, Koyim, Inesh, Adaita, the Rebbe, that after 40 years of working hard, then he does reach the, the ultimate Pneumia. So he says, you have given me a sentence of 40 years. And <laughs> it's like a it'll struggle for 40 years. 40 years, either this world is going to be only in Malchus or Mashiach for a long time, or it's going to be just a little, they said it was going to be a big bang, a little, a little sort of, how do you call it, be just a little, how do you call it, pill of smoke in the middle of space or something. And another, another 40 years, I mean, who's got time for that? So we have to say that a collar feels him, or a collar in on him, that in Siddhas, it goes a little bit quicker. In Siddhas, it's gate as And that's what I meant to say. So you, you can be happy and you can be relieved that uh, if you really uh, you devote yourself to Chassidus and to the Rabbeim, then it'll go a lot quicker. And I'll just finish with a brief story. You know what happened when the Rebbe had a heart attack? And uh, there was all this tremendous panic, and it was, it was very serious. And all of a sudden the Rebbe opened his eyes and he said to the doctor that was standing near him, the, the Rebbe said to him, how long does it take uh, to, you know, for this type? I had to get over this type of thing. You know? How long does it take? So the doctor said, oh, it takes at least six months, you know, just to get over the etum uh, effect of the attack. He said that it takes a long time after until they able to actually get back in, to your normal function and your normal way of doing things. And it takes a long time. So the rabbis looked at him and the rabbis said, by me, the design of Sach Kicha. The rabbis said, by me, it's going to be incomparably uh, uh, shorter than that. <laughs> So that's the answer. Yeah. So with the Rebbe, with the Chassidim, it works differently. Anyway, so he says, <laughs> <laughs> That is what he says. That's what he says. How are we to say that Enochanami, Gilu is only Nimsha from the Chitanias, or we can say that this is still a high form of Chitanias, that it can't be Nimsha in the Biyah, but it's in Atzilus Kufa, uh, like you might call the sphere is interrelating from one to the, to the other, and what we call these colorless. It's written in certain my Maharaj that these colors, the interwovenness of the sphere, and their Kabbalah one from the other, is Bi'ika Mitzad the Malchish of the sphere. In other words, the, the law of the China, or the Chitanias, or the Kalim, how they're relating one to a, a, another, but it's still within Oilama. Achilles Lavat. Avo is a brin some Malchus, yet the etum sphere of Malchus itself, Hari in Yona, who live for Chutzla Achilles. The whole in the Malchus to be pearl outside of Till. For who pull us, I savers, who pull us, I give away, but I must be. Ah, so here we see that Malchus has got two in Yona. First of all, cause the Savus. What the Savus is, Yesh me, iron, that it becomes about the Yesh which feels itself to be a Yesh, but that's the union of Am, a Melatoloi, Am. And 
then the scene of caring for the arm and giving them at least you know, what they uh, they must have in a basic way. And he said that's the inner of Gilui Vayelamus Bia. Apart from the Etzem Helam of the Yisavas Yeshmiayim, there's also a certain inner of of Gilui Mitzad Malchus. Don't throw. Is a Gilui Vayelamus Bia. The in case, so that's the two in Yonim of Malchus. So on the one hand, the Helam of the Etzem Yeshmiayim, and on the other hand, the Gilui, which is nonetheless given here for Gil Elakus to a certain extent. We should know about it, of course, in the Indian for Bilamas, Piyah. In other words, but what happens is, we've described on other occasions, that the Malchus of every sphere becomes yeah, the sphere of that sphere, how it is in Malchus. In other words, that Malchus Shabbat Chesed becomes Chesed Shabbat. Malchus. A Malchus of Begvura becomes Gvura of Malchus. In other words, the Malchus of every sphere that becomes that particular sphere, how he is in Malchus, which means that the whole Ica concept of Yula centers itself and becomes concentrated in Sphere of Malchus. So, Shamalchus Nikras Mare Demus Kvid Hashem. And he said that that's why it is that Malchus in the famous uh, Navura of Yechesko is called Mare Demus Kvid Hashem. But all those words mean like not Etzem Dike Inyone. Mare means like a vision. You know how they call it a, a, a sight of something but not a Mahus. Uh, Demus it means only a, a comparison, a, 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 a vision, not a uh, not an actual thing. And the same is COVID. COVID is not a uh, COVID is not an atom. It's just a uh, a form of aura which goes forth from an atom. So therefore, so the Rebbe, the Rebbe, is, the Rebbe, the Inan of Malchus is called with three names, yeah, which indicates the Inan. Yeah, so he gam came between us mara u. Gavon, it's in in his mare, which is a indicative, we said, in and of Chitainius, uh, and Gavon is also in and of color, or that's the idea of the specific entity for, or the specific, what you might call, uh, appearance for the sake of the man, of the Macabre. Avo he said, Loi bepinus Gavon Achmi Kamoya Kalim de Atilus Alayala Maila Mimal. In other words, we mentioned. Gavon earlier in the Kalim, or there was a etum dike in in how it is in the in the Kalim. Oh, but Mare de Mus Koyd Hashem, he said that's the in for Gavon how it's really for the sake of the man, of the Makabur. In other words, that the Gavon how it is in the etum of Kalim, it's in your honor, he is only the Tayer, and to be a, a certain extent. Raui le kabul that that type of word and that's a even gavul which is shy only to the etzim pnimis of the keili. Over the even gavul now to mare the mus koyda shem, or that's over the even gavul which is shy to the makabli. That's how the union of color and gavul becomes a a union chitoni, but the union is shema piula shy to the union of ashpoa. Therefore, he says. Yeah, It's a separate uh, color, a color which is shy to the inner yeah, of Hashpur. A gavon a nivdal mino etem. The ainu she'ein in yoni l'taye es etem ki im lifel chutz la etem. In other words, the simple concept of of color, the whole idea of color is to give something to the makablim to make it yeah, acceptable and what you might call uh, a receivable by the uh, by the makablim and the Describable to the macabre. Oh, but the governor, the etzim makalim itself, is only uh, to make it raui that that particular oil should reach it, and therefore it's mataya. And this says, oh yeah, that's the type of oil which is bm and shy to my pnimias. And that was the inner we saw before akalim agavonim. So it's two different gavonim now. We have a govern et et shy to the etzim, and we have now a gavon which in only is only leaf oil. And to be noticeable and to, as it were, light up the macabrim mibachuts. Who can now be in Hamalucha? Like we saw earlier when we discussed.
just a whole in a malucha. She began beginning to remember as the malucha. Even that tremendously elevated aspect of malucha, which is like withdrawal, shayocha rach elazulas. That even though it's withdrawal and remember means the idea of going back into yourself, withdrawal completely from the makabel. Nonetheless, even that was shy to the makabel. You know, the whole idea for remember was was remember as alhoam. That the whole union of Malchus, even the aspect which it looks as if Malchus is withdrawing from everything, it's not really. That's another way of relating to the Makabalim. You know, even a Rimam, and that gives them, like we saw earlier in the first Mimam, that gives them a certain basic Matthias and Chayas, for Huli, for Huli, like we saw in Barichas. But that's a Mela Balayon with the whole Arichas, it's a Inyan. I'm a middle of making gradual progress, and we're getting to the Chitanius Akalim, and in the Chitanius Akalim group, we've got now Tamalchas, so we're gradually, how do you call it, moving closer to the Yisavas of Biyah and Molech uh, al-Kaloyim Kuloy B'Kfei Delcha Be'ezus Shem Take me out Mamish Good Yeah Good going I have a question It said that that uh, the, the, the the spirits that they that they that they, uh, they they view themselves in a certain color no. Is that is that uh, like is that by itself in, in, in the person's char- like physical characteristics? The person has like does that like reveal itself in the person's like physical characteristics, like their eye color or their hair color or their skin color, stuff like that? Uh, oh, if we take the muscle of the tapua, right, uh, then we have to say that it's like that for about the point. Right, and um, there's a very famous uh, story that happened, a very amazing thing. Yeah. Once a year came into the physical.